The question everyone's probably wondering, how much would a house or a palace like this cost you? 80 million euros. Welcome to the jungle, guys. This is an experience. Have you seen a snow room? A snow room. Guys, there is snow in here. Oh, get up! <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. It's your boy DJ Bliss. We're back with another one. Drop that DJ Khaled meme again. Another one. Yes, you already know what it is guys. We got another excellent, amazing video for you today. We are going out, not to the city over there. We are going out to the sea. And out at the sea, Dubai has created the World Islands. And on the World Islands, they've created the heart of Europe. It's a bunch of islands in the shape of Europe and each island's got a hotel on there. And I'm gonna give you a tour of everything is going on over there you already know what it is let's get this video started I right, let's go <laughs> Guys, we made it onto Sweden Island. Look at like, where are we? Are we even in Dubai? No, we're not, but yes, we are, if you know what I mean. This place looks like, I don't know, like, remember the TV show Lost? Or remember Cast Away? Like, all those island movies? Like, it feels like we literally got transported out of Dubai by taking a 10 minute boat ride and landing here in the heart of Europe. And there is a beautiful, beautiful structure in here. All right, we gotta go around. I'm gonna show it to you. This place is just unbelievably beautiful. The place is called Sweden Beach Palace. Oh my God, guys. I've seen pictures and I was blown away. I'm about to see it in real life. Let's go check it out. an experience where are we there's a hammock over here who does not love a hammock guys I just found a slide in the middle of the jungle I mean it's a little small it might be made for a kid sliding into 2021 like this <laughs> apparently they got all these plants from different islands around the world and planted them over here and you know that's true because it has a tropical feel so the heart of Europe all right is a sustainable group of islands and the water that they're using is desalinated which means that they're taking seawater and using it to convert it into sweet water basically used for tap water or even to give the plants water and the electricity that's provided to the island is all through solar panels and this across the world island is amazing guys sustainability at its best all right i think we're getting somewhere i think this is the place guys guys so all the furniture that you see over here is provided by Bentley it all has the Bentley logo on it the table the sofas the chairs everything as a matter of fact follow me here to the dining area you're gonna see that even the dining area all the chairs are by Bentley as well you got the Bentley logo everywhere I forgot to show you this when we walked in but you even got some like inspiration from Bentley cars pictures on the walls as well so you got the Bentley cars here Bentley cars there old school style so this is the outside terrace area look how beautiful it is you got your own infinity pool your own Beach. You actually own the beach over here, alright? So when you buy the house or palace or mansion, whatever you want to call it, you own the beach over here. There's that beautiful dragon head on top and six stories, alright? So let's go inside and let's see the rest of this place. Guys, when you have a six-story mansion palace like this one, what do you need? An elevator. I mean, you can go down the stairs or you can go up the stairs if you want, but why do that? Well, you want to go all the way up? Just take the elevator. Bruh. Oops. Family 
floor mm -hmm. and you first enter to your family room and then you've got four single suites and then we can have a look at one if you want. Perfect. So marble floors, marble bathroom, wall of closets, banky furniture, flat TV screen and then a wall of windows and great views of the sea. So you got the front view where we were in the infinity pool, you oversee that infinity pool from over here. And all the bedrooms are the same on this floor? Yes. So I'm guessing the other floor has the master bedroom. The master bedroom. It's probably one of the biggest master bedrooms in Dubai. Oh, really? Yeah. This master bedroom is the biggest master bedroom in Dubai? I would think it's one of the biggest in Dubai. Is it Dubai, the entire definitely. floor? It's the entire floor. So they got four bedrooms and like a sitting area here. And on the master bedroom floor, it's the entire floor. So welcome to the master suite wow. floor. So this is your grand entrance because you need one. Yes. <laughs> you have a sliding door and then you are welcomed into this master bedroom with a round shaped bed. Wow. A marble tub just in case. A marble tub inside the bedroom yes a wall of windows facing the wow. amazing sea and then you have got many walking closets in different corners so this is the second one where you can keep your hats pretty much and your accessories moving into the second walking closet here where you can keep I don't know, your ties or your shoes whatever you want this is the fourth walking closet on this floor wow and then this is the marble bathroom with the French integration so yes. a lot of windows toilet shower Hour, and then just jump into the jacuzzi and then to the northern lights the Swedish touch. Basically, if you're in this room and laying on your bed, you're not watching TV or anything. You're literally just appreciating the view because that's what you paid for, really. Exactly. Just, the bed's facing the window and you're just outside paying attention to how beautiful this amazing view is and thinking about how life is great because you bought this house. That's exactly it. Perfect. I love it when you're lyrical. <laughs> oh wait, there's more? There's a kid's room in the master bedroom? The concept is you have your own little entrance with a wall of closets, the golden toys for the kids, and the mini banky furniture. Mini bed. So this is like the kids want to come and sleep with the parents. You're like, all right, fine, just come sleep in the room upstairs, just for today. And this is you have your nice little terrace, and, and then there's a storage bathroom with another wall of closets for the kids only. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Now we are in the basement of this house. In the lower ground. The lower ground. Sweden Beach Palace. And this is the Swedish spa routine. Yes. So you get to go to the gym if you want. Do a little gym work. You have your bathroom, your shower, cool. Get a Swedish massage if you want. Come here. Come inside. Look at this. Look at the northern lights up there. Beautiful. You've got a massage table over here. Bentley massage table. Bentley massage table. Excuse me, all right, but follow me this way. Uh, come, come over here. Sauna over here. I mean, impressive, right? But we've seen saunas everywhere. But where have you seen a snow room? A snow room, guys. There is snow in here. This is real snow. When was the last time you touched it? Oh, snow fight! Oh, oh, guys, come over here. This is real snow, like real, real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is real snow, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> guys, come over here, please. This is real snow. <laughs> oh my god, so why do you have snow over here? What is the purpose? I think it's part of the uh, Swedish fitness routine. So you start in your gym, you have a massage, you go to the sauna, and then you end up in the stern to chill off. Oh my god, that is insane. A snow room? Guys, oh my god. I've seen so many crazy things in my life when I do these tours and these videos. A snow room is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, never would I imagine. Oh my god. If I get sick, no, it's your fault. <laughs> Alright, so now we are at the roof of the palace, guys. So what is this, like a hospitality room where you invite your guests over here for a party or... Actually, this is the what we call the party floor. The party floor? Yeah. Sounds like my kind of floor, guys. So it, this is the fifth floor and then you have almost 360 degree view glass rooftop so you can see the entire master plan and you can also see the entire skyline. Amazing and I see that you have like a model of the part of Europe so just to put it into perspective for you guys come take a look at what this project looks like. This is Sweden Ireland, this is where we are right now. We are in this house and we are exactly right here. So the question everyone's probably wondering how much would a house or a palace like this cost you? 80 million euros. Eight T, eight, eight zero. zero. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many have you sold? We've sold nine. So we have one, one more is left. Guys, this one can be yours for 80 million euros. What else do we have? Some the left, you've got Germany Island and you've got 32 villas. Right next to it, you've got the floating Venice. We have four hotels and all the suites are underwater. And then the other side, you have the biggest island, which is called Euro Island. You will have nine hotels. Each hotel will be named after a city in Europe. This will be Switzerland. We have made some adjustments. So this is not going to be exactly like this. It's no longer her hotel. It's going to be an island with villas. This is Honeymoon Island. So the heart shaped island. It's the party island. 93 floating sea houses. Then you will have the Italian hotel. They're going to have 540 aquariums. You're going to have the longest private beach in Dubai. The longest and the largest swimming pool. What a beautiful <laughs> project, guys. The heart of Europe. So I thought this was the end of the video. I thought we were on the roof, but Delphine's like, this is not the roof. This is the fifth floor. The roof is on the sixth floor. Let's go up to the roof, guys. Wow, Have what a view. When it's New Year's Eve, you can see eight fireworks amazing. all from here. It's amazing. And they're actually building the next palace over here, guys. If you look down here, see it's still in the construction. So they're still building another one of the palaces right now. And that's all the rest of the palaces that they're still building too. So this is the first one that was ready. There's more being built over there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like videos like this. Leave it in the comments below. Smash that like button. Press subscribe. Big shout out to the heart of Europe. Thank you for the invite over here. I can't wait to come back when the this project is finished and see how it's gonna look like it looks amazing already I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna look even better when it's all done I'm gonna talk about like all the projects beautiful thank you Delphine thank you to the team I'll see you all soon peace and love guys